I had a question about what I keep in my billy pot or my what I call my cook kitchen. The reason why I call it or refer to it as my cook kitchen is because I keep everything inside of it. Uh, I got this pot cover from a yard sale. It was like a dollar. Looked like actually someone spent a lot of time making it. I like it. It keeps the soot out of my pack. Um, <clears throat> one of the outings that we had, my wife stuck my pot into the fire without taking off the plastic clips. So I use this now to, uh, to keep my lid on securely. Also serves as other things too. But I still have one of the plastic clips even though taking it on and off and on and off and it still still holds together it works it only works if you have the the handle in the upright position it locks the lid into place so this is the lid also serves as a a bowl I have a large amount of Starbucks Vias. These are my favorite instant coffees. Also, I have a bag of soy sauce and honey, uh, butter that you would get from KFC, Taco Bell hot sauce, wet naps, and uh, just a, a few Parmesan cheese and, and peppers, a few spices, things like that that you would add to wild edibles possibly to make them taste better and not so bland. A uh, Zip Fizz. This one I actually have pills in it. It's for uh, um, dysentery basically. I, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, lighter. This triple berry, 100% uh, vitamin C packet. Also carry a pot grabber. So this billy can, the zebra billy pot, comes with a bowl or a frying pan. You can you can use it as a frying pan. So I just have the the handle on it. Use this as an extra pan or a pot or even some to eat out of if you wanted to. Water filter. At least that's what I use it for. I also use it to wipe out the, the pot with when I'm done. Some more emergency. Some green tea. My wife really likes this stuff. It's actually, it's not too bad. These are tickets. I call them poop tickets. Um, I had toilet paper in here, but I put these in here for some reason. I don't remember why. Some noon or none. It's, it's an electrolyte drink that replaces electrolytes. 12 tablets. Here's my wild edible tea strainer. That comes in handy so you don't get floaties in your drink. This is my squirrel cooker. It's a light my fire uh, grandpa's fire fork, I think is what they call it. So basically what you need to do is get a stick, put a stick in here, and it holds it and you use this uh, hot dogs and marshmallows typically is what it's used for but you can use it for larger things I just thought it was cool still have the ability to cook over the fire with it I have olive oil I put this inside of a ziploc bag just in case it leaks but it's a couple of ounces of olive oil this is a waterproof dry bag. 
This also serves to um, when I when I cook out of this. Typically, I'll I'll take all of the the contents of what I'm not using and I'll put it inside this bag. Keeps all the food dry and out of the way. So this is camp soap. Um, it's like little sheets of, of soap you would use to scrub your pots with. Waterproof Coleman matches. I've got these things everywhere. I mean, they're, they're literally everywhere. Just about all my kits have matches in them. Extra Ziploc bag for edibles. Leftovers, maybe. I don't know. Anything you could use a Ziploc bag for. This is my scrubber. It's got some pretty heavy-duty nylon bristles on the bottom, as well as these this hard plastic side to uh, scrape your pots with. I have a jar of chicken bouillon in here, just to add flavor to bland food. Have a measuring cup as well as a drinking cup, possibly if you want to use it to drink out of. But it gives me eight ounces if I need specific instructions. Have some extra green teas in here just to kind of fill it up. Okay, and these last items were extras that I added. I have a just a stainless steel bowl. Basically, this pan will also turn into an oven. Here is a uh, spoon, spork, fork thing. Just a piece of tin foil. I could put it over the lid. And my friend Eat Carbs off of YouTube gave me this. It's a he got it from a Chinese. Um, or or Asian market. So basically, what this is is it's a steamer rack. But if you put it in the bottom of the pot, like that, then you put your bowl on top of that. You now have an oven. Or you can put your pot on the top of the rack. or on side of the rack. You can even put your bowl in this way and you have an oven. But the lid doesn't like to stay on, so what I do is I put the rack right side up inside the pot. I put my bowl on top of that, put the contents on the bowl, a muffin, whatever you want to cook, bannock. Put your lid on top and you have an oven. So this is my cook kitchen. I know it, it's kind of a lot of stuff, but like I said, I have a family of four, and typically this goes out with me with a family of four. Even by myself, I still, I, I like taking this. This is everything that I need to cook with. So thanks for watching.